Um, here we start in a standing position and little Yuki was much happier sitting in my, being carried in my arms right now. So we do some standing poses. So just hold your baby and baby facing you, facing away from you, whatever your baby prefers. Standing at the top of your yoga mat, drop those shoulders, although you're holding your baby. And now lift that right foot away from the floor, bend the standing leg, and then slowly, fast is easy. Find the floor behind you for warrior number one. Make sure you make the stance a little bit broader, like train tracks, think train tracks. And you can hold the baby, have the baby sit on your front thigh, depending if your baby's able to sit already or happy sitting. Of course, you hold your baby close. Maybe you reach those right fingertips high, lengthen through the tailbone, drop the shoulders, right? <laughs> and then from here, hold your baby in both of your arms as you lift the back heel and straighten both legs. Make the stance a little bit shorter. Both legs straight, lengthen the tailbone down. Lean a little bit back as the shoulders stay heavy. And now we bend both knees and keep the back knee hovering above the floor. Inhale, up, and exhale, down. And we move up, and we move down. And we move up, and we move down. And we move up, and we move down. Lower the back knee all the way down, or stay for a moment here, hovering. Baby can sit again, if you wish. Keep on lengthening the tail, lift your heart, and then we lower all the way down. Lengthening both, to both the, the back toes, toes as we come into proposal pose. So um, 90 degrees between thigh and chin. This goes both for the front leg and the back leg. Lengthen the tail again, getting into our front hip flexors, and we draw the front foot and the back knee towards one another. So it gets, gets you, throws the stretch a little bit more into your hip flexor again. Reach your right arm to the side, internally rotate down behind your back, getting hold of your left elbow, upper arm. And we are resist, they're resisting one another. And that gives you a nice opening in that right shoulder. Right, Yuki? Nice opening in that right shoulder, isn't it? And then, since babies like change, really, so we continue and wiggle that left foot over to the side. Yeah, we wiggle all the way over to the all the way over to the side and reach the right arm high, and then into a side bend over to the left. Drop that left shoulder, spiral your chest up. Tailbone stays heavy. Wiggle the foot back to the front. Curl your back toes under again, hold your baby, step it to the front, right leg lifts. Transition into tree pose of your choice. Baby now sitting, high up in the tree, high up in the tree. And maybe there's a soft breeze and the tree is moving a little bit. And you're challenging your balance at the same time. As you move a tiny little bit, make this a little bit more dynamic and interesting for the baby, if baby enjoys that, right? Sitting high up in the tree, high up in the tree. Now turn the right knee to face the front and maybe just for a moment extend the right leg, flexing the foot and then unrush, step it down. Rebalance your body weight for the second side, right? Second side. So you hold the baby, and lift the left foot away from the floor, and then unrush, lean forward. It's a little bit like marking warrior three for a moment, and then finding the floor behind you for warrior number one. Baby can sit on your front um, thigh. If so, you can reach the left fingertips high towards the sky. <laughs> yeah. Do you like that? Hmm? I'm quite fidgety here, quite fidgety here. Reaching through the left fingertips, lengthen the tail, lift your heart. And then hold the baby again in both of your arms as you straighten the back leg, lift the back toe, lift the back heel, both legs straight, lengthen the tail down, shoulders drop. Very important, drop the shoulders. And now we rebend both knees. 
On the inhale, up again. On the exhale, down. And continue a few rounds. And as you bend the back knee, you might want to push the back heel far back in space so we work on a nice flexion in our ankle joint. And as you bend the back knee, next time, maybe keep the back knee hover for a moment. Push the back heel back, lift the heart, lean a little bit back in space. Baby can always already find a seat again. And then we lower all the way down, proposal pose. Remember those 90 degrees between thigh and shin, both front and back leg. Drawing the front foot and knee towards one another, right? Holding your baby with your right arm, left arm reaches to the side, internally rotate at the shoulder down and behind your back, get hold of your right forearm, hand and forearm resisting one another as you draw the left shoulder blade down, the back rib change. Wee mouse. Wee. Look at the beautiful flowers there. Mm -hmm. And then we wiggle the right foot 90 degrees over to the side, so the toes point to the side. Keep on lengthening the tail down. Reach your left arm to the sky and over to the right and to the side. Then spur your chest up. Maybe your baby enjoys leaning forward a little bit as well. Yeah, not too much really. And then we wiggle the foot back to the front. Hold your baby again. Curl back toes under, lift the back knee and step it to the front. Transitioning into the tree pose of your choice. Hi, there we are. Sitting in the tree again. Maybe enjoying a little bit of a breeze. Hmm? Drop the shoulders. Hmm, deep breathing. Deep breathing. Have the knee face the front. Maybe for a moment only straighten that leg. And remain the knee. Step it all the way down, rebalancing your body weight. And then we can do hip circles again. Nice hip circles. The feet are a little bit wider than the hips maybe. And imagine you and your baby are stirring the air. Stir. And then we change direction. Whee! And just see what your baby likes, like bigger circles or smaller circles. And respond to your baby's needs and to the mood of your, of your baby. And then come slowly all the way back to center. Nice standing poses flow, right? 